gosh, I just wish summer would be over already. <laughs> Hey, what up everyone? Welcome back to my channel at Craft Terrain Training. My name is Jorge. If you're new here, welcome. So today I bring you yet another tutorial. And so today we are going to be making a VHS slip case for a cassette. Yes, believe it or not, this was requested. I doubt it if I even wanted to make this because I know that everything that makes you feel nostalgic is coming back. I don't think I have seen a VHS for a new movie, but it's a novelty item. I actually use this one for display. As you can see, my love for Birds of Prey, it's strong. Me and my boyfriend are huge fans of Birds of Prey, and so I wanted to make this as a novelty item. Once somebody requested for it, I was like, yeah, why not? And then I just found a cassette tape at a garage sale, and I said, you know what? Let's make the tutorial, why not? It has been requested, it's easy to do, it's a novelty item, it looks pretty cool, so yeah. It's really simple, it's just a regular sleep case and I am also going to show you how to make the the labels. This is what we're going to be making today. If this is not your cup of tea, don't worry. More musical content is coming up. This was just a break from all that. So yeah, with that being said, let's get into the tutorial. For the VHA slip case, start off by going into the description of whichever video of mine, really, and click on the link that says templates. Once it opened, it will take you to my OneDrive folder called Music Packaging, where you will see three folders. Enter the folder named Templates. Once it opens, you will see three more folders. Select and open the folder named VHS. Once inside, select and download the file VHS slipcase and open it using Photoshop. After it has been opened, you will have something like this. The first big rectangle to the left is where the cover will go. The rectangle on the right is where the back cover will go and next to it is the flap that will glue everything together. For my flap, I like to extend the color of the design of the back cover in case it shows a little bit in the final product it is at least the same color as the back cover. The two narrow rectangles to either side of the cover is where the spines will go. This area on the top is the flap that open and closes, although nobody really uses it, but it looks pretty cool. Some cassettes include the logo of the movie in this area, but this is optional. You can just include color, photos, whatever is up to you. Now that you have the cassette design, you will need to merge the layers together. Before doing that, however, make sure that the blackout part is on the top of all the layers. Left click on the layer and select Merge Visible. This will merge all of your layers. Go back into the description of this video and click on the link once again. After you see the folders, this time select the folder labeled Paper Sizes and open it. After it has been opened, select Download and open the file called Tabloid. This is the only side that fits the layer comfortably. Once the file has download, you should have this. Go back to the VHS template and create a selection by clicking the shortcuts onto the keyboard. It is shown on the screen. After creating the selection, copy the file. Then go back to the tabloid file and paste your image onto the file. It should place itself in the middle. After you've done that, you can print it out. All that there's left to do is to cut it out, also cut out the black parts, mark the folds, and mark the creases. And then cut a tiny rectangle piece on this area and repeat on the other side. The reason why I didn't include on the blackout part is because it's a small little itty bitty triangle. It wasn't very visible if I included it in the blackout parts, so I'm just telling you to cut it out. After all of this, put some glue onto the flap and bring the cover and the back cover together. Make sure to press firmly to adhere it as best as possible. Once it has been formed, just put in the tabs in and you're done. For the labels, go back into the description and click on the link that says templates. Once it opens, it will take you to my wonder folder, again called musical packaging, where you will see three folders. Enter the folder named templates. Once it opens, you will see three more folders. Select and open the folder named VHS. Once inside, select and download the file named VHS label and open it using Photoshop. It should look like a rectangle. Design it as you wish, then merge all the layers together. 
Go back to OneDrive and this time select and download the file BHS labeled size and open it using Photoshop. This should look like a long rectangle. This file is optional, some BHS don't have a label on the side but I'm opting to include it if you want to do it as well. After it has been designed, merge the layers together. Go back into the description of this video and click on the link once again. After you see the folders, this time select the folder label paper sizes and open it. After it has opened, select and download and open the file A4. Arrange the label however you want. Create a selection, copy it and paste it onto the A4 file. Repeat for both labels. Since the labels are too small and they don't cover the whole area of an A4 sheet of paper, you can duplicate them in case you ruin one or add more elements, like I did. I opted to include some CD labels that I already worked on. Cut your labels using scissors or an X-Acto knife and a ruler. Then you can use a round corner hole puncher to make the corners nice and neat, but this is optional. You should have something like this. To stick it onto the cassette, make sure that it is clean as possible. Mine had some residue from the original label, but it will work nonetheless. Peel one part of the label, center it as best as possible, then stick the exposed part. Peel the rest and then stick as you go, making sure to smooth it as best as you can. Repeat the same process for the long label, and after that, you are done. All that there's left to do is to assemble everything. Bye. And that is it for this video guys, I hope you like it, if you like it don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already and if you are, thank you so much. Don't forget that you can follow me on my social medias, Instagram and TikTok at Craft Training and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye! bye. bye.